action. <laughs> What's up? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a good day. If you're new here, my name is Emily and I'm a final year medical student and today I have a very special guest special? Oh on my, my channel. Do you want to introduce yourself? Hi everyone, my name's Teddy. I'm also a final year medical mm -hmm. student and we're in the same uni, we're both going to the University mm -hmm. of Nottingham. And Teddy, you may know her from at Teddy Bear Medic on Instagram. Oh so if you haven't seen her Shame before, then go follow her on Instagram. <laughs> so today we thought we'd just sit down, do a little medical school Q&A. So I asked some questions on my Instagram, Teddy asked for some questions on her Instagram. So this is just a mix of like questions about medical school life, questions about applying to medical school, all that sort of stuff. Teddy also has a video answering some more questions, the questions that we didn't get time to answer in this video up on her Instagram. So be sure to go check that out too. Teddy and I are working on a video about how to get into med school so we're going to go through the whole process. It'll probably be quite a long video about how to write a personal statement, how to get an interview, going through every single step for those of you who are applying this year. So if that's something awesome. that you're interested in then definitely click that subscribe button. S subscribe? Click that subscribe button and stay tuned for that and then follow us both on respective Instagrams. Yeah. First one we've got is what speciality are you vouching for? I, I don't really know at the moment. I really like endocrinology and I also like GP. I think psychiatry GP, do I know it? Yeah, you <laughs> literally my top two, psychiatry <laughs> GP. What do you think of the biggest challenges medical students face? The stress. I would say the stress and managing your mental health personally. Yeah, I think mental health is a really big thing that's being talked about more, but I don't think it's talked about enough no, in medical school no because... it's not and that's what's really good about like about your instagram is you like are very honest and open about your experiences in med school it's not every day that i'm happy or productive like, no actually like it's very very unproductive <laughs> it's like about cool. one day in the yeah. week i'm like oh my god i've got so yeah, much done yeah. and then the rest of my potato what are the must-haves before starting medical school do not buy the textbook that is the <laughs> must not have <laughs> that is a waste of time don't do it because they'll tell you you'll buy some next book and then they'll be like oh you need this textbook and you won't even use it and you're not you gonna have need time it. look at the lecture notes i literally have like so many textbooks mm. and i've looked at them maybe once you don't well, I'd say the only textbooks i would say buy is like kumar and clark clinical medicine when you get to placement mm. Um, an anatomy textbook preferably if your med school is using one specifically you should use that one yeah. but you can get any technically because yeah. they all say roughly the yeah. same thing those are the two that i would say you need oh but this is more for clinical phase uh, the oxford handbook, handbook yeah. those ones are fantastic because yeah. they're really good quick to like read and stuff i would say those are the three that i have invested in and mm. have actually used if you don't have a stethoscope get on that because you'll need that from first year um, although i do know a lot of medical schools do provide them if you can't afford them at first so don't if you can't afford one don't like that's true and actually probably wait till freshers because you get discounts like yeah. bought mine before and then there's like discounts in freshers fair so how are you preparing for finals um, Ew, i haven't <laughs> I have They yet. are after Christmas, so until Christmas, I'm not thinking about them. <laughs> Literally, not even I thinking. am prepared. Well, how I will prepare is I will make consistent notes so that when I come to revise, I will have something to revise. That's true. And just to mention as well, we've got a different background because we're in. We're in my room. room. I hope you like the background. It's uh, brown. What a nice little kit. You are eternally loved. So, yeah. Do you feel prepared for final year and for being a doctor? No. no. <laughs> not in the slightest. We have been off since March because of yeah. coronavirus. Like I've not really seen any patients, so I feel like... very out of it. Someone's gonna tell me like I got chest pain. I'm like, does your stomach hurt? I hope when we get there we will because when we've gone through this year and after we do our finals we have um, our elective. Yeah, we have, the next. Like um, a, like it's called medical assistantship, which we do for a month, which is like mm. you are basically a junior doctor without being paid. So I think we will when we get there. But at the moment, like I don't think we'd be good students if we sat here now and be like, yep, I feel fully prepared. I could be a junior doctor tomorrow. Like there's still more to learn. Now nah, so, we're we'll lying straight yeah. up. <laughs> do you need a stethoscope for first year? But because you're not using them every day. In first year i definitely don't you don't know you don't need one it's just a useful thing to have yeah but if you can't afford one it's or not... you don't want to invest in one at the moment then that's fine your friend might have one you can borrow you definitely need one for clinical yeah mine's, I, swear, I need to get a new one actually that's why i broke mine i was like swinging it, <laughs> oh I was swinging it from the end like this and it just fully like 
I started listening through it and then I was like, I can't hear nothing. Oh how many exams do you have a week or a month and how many chapters does each exam? Have? I can't really answer yeah. that question because it just varies. It varies what year you're in, what term you're in. Yeah, and it's not really based on chapters in a textbook, is it? At least no, not in Nottingham. No. For us, it was always you had exams for each module at the end of the year, and what, some in January. Yeah. So you, twice a year, basically. But then sometimes you'd have them at rogue times, like sometimes you'd have one in November or like... But we do have like clinical stuff that we have yeah. to do throughout the placement. Ooh, what's been your favourite placement? I would probably say, even though I wouldn't want to do it as a speciality, I don't think, um, obstetrics and gynaecology. Same. And obviously I've really liked sexual health and I really liked GP because it was a lot of sexual health. So like gynaecology, sexual health stuff is probably my favourite. I would agree. I think, also gynaecology was my favourite main rotation, mm. but then I did forensic psychiatry for my special study. Oh, yeah, you did, yeah. That's fucking phenomenal. I loved it. Every second of it, I was like, oh my god. I, oh, like I liked mine actually, I did endocrine, I forgot about that. Yeah, I really liked that as well. Oh, what's the hardest thing about the application process? Yeah, I would say actually getting, the process to getting an interview, because mm. I think once you have an interview, this starts to get down to like 50-50, and because you're, if you're like quite a chatty, talkative person, then you can, yeah, you'll be absolutely fine. As long as you're not like... I would say getting the actual interview. Once mm. you get an interview, I think you can relax a bit. Yeah, if you have any interviews, you should be fine. I only had one. Mm. <laughs> one is all you need. Mm. So honestly, you're fine. Mm. Yeah, um, I had three and then I got opt offers from all three, but I'd say getting them is... Mm. Mm. Get, trying to get the um, the interview, but again... For and getting the grades actually as well. For me, that was hard. <laughs> Don't take me back to like 18 year old I me. Know, like, I, I was know, so stressed. I, I feel so bad for everyone with the results thing. Mm, that like, if awful. that was you, I feel so bad for you because it really messed up and I hope that you still managed to... I was thinking, I was like, considering the school I went to, I probably wouldn't have gotten the grades if it was based on what the government said. I wouldn't have got, so I, might, I wouldn't have even got the predicted grades. Well, they just, wouldn't have even, I don't think. Yeah, you know, even with the predicted grades, I knew some people who had like predicted grades of like A's and A stars and they saw what B's and C's and I was like, how? You've been getting A's all year, yeah. how did you end up with a B? I know my sister, so she got B, B distinction in her B tech, but she got predicted an A, but she was like happy with the B because she didn't think she would get an A anyway, but then it now has gone up to an A. Oh, um, but like even she went to like a, like a, well, I wouldn't say an amazing school, but like it was a good school mm. um, and they'd even mocked her down from her predicted grade. So yeah. Well, thankfully the uh, government's switched that around. But yeah, just getting the interview. So, yeah, you know, do you, if you're going to a med school that really uh, values the UK cap. Apply strategically. <laughs> what do you have in your university bag? So I always have snacks water i always have snacks because i get hungry and something like a bar a cereal bar that you can like really quickly eat and like in between going towards stethoscope oxford clinical handbook which basically has every single condition in there like one page per condition you can quickly look up present like presentation and then if the management management and, and what like investigations you do so that's really so good. even if you've not read up on it just before clinic you're like oh sure okay, if someone comes in with it and the doctor's seeing them like you can look <laughs> and then you look like you know it and a notebook and pen notebook and pen i personally bring my laptop but that's because i hate writing with like yeah, and, paint, and that's all. Um, that's for me, probably it. like a lipstick, a lip balm, <laughs> like unnecessary crap. Yeah, a hair bubble. Oh yeah, hair band. So and at the moment, hair. a mask. Well, that is, I think, all the questions that we're going to do today. Thank you for everyone who sent in their questions, either on Teddy's page or on mine. Like and subscribe. Mm. I think is what you YouTubers say. Yeah. Yeah. And we'll <laughs> see you in the next video. Bye, Bye. guys.